Michel de Nostradamus, The Prophecies. Will the world witness a third world war, economic collapse, or even a catastrophic event from outer space? The prophecies of Nostradamus have long fascinated and intrigued believers and skeptics alike. The Prophecies of Nostradamus, a renowned French astrologer and physician, is best known for his book of cryptic prophecies called Les Prophéties. Written in the 16th century, Nostradamus's writings have been interpreted over the years to predict major world events, including wars, natural disasters, and the rise and fall of leaders. Let's delve into the predictions and explore the possibilities of what this year, 2024, may hold. Behind his mystery prediction. One of the reasons Nostradamus's prophecies remain compelling is the method of his predictions. He claimed to enter a trance-like state, receiving visions of the future. These visions were then translated into his famous quatrains. Nostradamus' life itself is shrouded in mystery. After losing his family to the plague, he devoted himself to studying occult sciences and astrology. His medical background and encounters with the plague influenced his work, contributing to his reputation as a healer and seer. By the time he published Les Prophecies in 1555, he had gained significant attention and patronage, including from Queen Catherine de' Medici of France. Despite the skepticism surrounding Nostradamus, his influence is undeniable. His work has inspired countless books, documentaries, and movies. Every year, as we approach new milestones or face global crises, Nostradamus prophecies resurface in popular culture, prompting discussions and analyses. His ability to captivate the human imagination, regardless of the veracity of his predictions, speaks to a deep-seated fascination with the unknown and the future. World War III, a grim forecast. One of the most chilling predictions attributed to Nostradamus is the outbreak of the Third World War. With the current global tensions and conflicts brewing in various parts of the world, many speculate that we are on the brink of a catastrophic war that will reshape the world order. Is Nostradamus's prophecy coming to fruition, or is there still hope for peace? economic collapse. In addition to the threat of war, Nostradamus also foresaw a great economic collapse that would plunge the world into chaos. With the recent economic turmoil and uncertainty caused by global events, could Nostradamus's prediction of a financial meltdown be closer than we think? Will we witness a collapse of the global economy, leading to widespread suffering and hardship? Signs from Space, a supernatural warning. Nostradamus's prophecies not only focus on earthly events, but also hint at potential cataclysms coming from the cosmos. Could a cosmic event such as an asteroid impact or alien invasion be the catalyst for the end times? As we look to the stars for answers, are we truly alone in the universe, or are there forces beyond our comprehension at play? The hottest and driest year on record. This year might be a year of environmental extremes. Nostradamus's verses suggest a continuation of severe climate phenomena. The dry earth will grow more parched, and there will be great floods when it is seen, he wrote, hinting at extreme weather patterns and widespread hunger due to pestiferous wave. These lines are eerily reminiscent of the current climate crisis, suggesting that environmental challenges will persist and perhaps intensify in 2025. A new infectious disease. Year 2024 will expose us to a new infectious disease. The awakening of ancient viruses. In a rather unsettling prediction, Nostradamus alludes to the discovery of a deadly virus, thousands of years old, released into the ocean as glaciers melt. This prophecy aligns with concerns about ancient pathogens re-emerging due to global warming, posing new threats to humanity. The End of King Charles III The prophecy of Nostradamus that could cover King Charles III has triggered a lot of discussions. 
it was alleged that King Charles of Great Britain and Northern Ireland was diagnosed with prostate cancer only 20 months after ascending to the throne upon the death of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022. This news has raised a lot of concern and speculation. The British author Mario Reading specializes in the work of Nostradamus and found a prophecy that seems to match this diagnosis. He analyzed Nostradamus's prophecy and interpreted it in the words, because they disapproved of his divorce, a man who later they considered unworthy. The people will force out the king of the islands, a man will replace who never expected to be king. Nostradamus also predicted the death of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022, accurately stating her age at the time of passing. Mario Redding's analysis of this prophecy states, Queen Elizabeth II will die, circa 22, at the age of around 96. The prophecy suggests that King Charles's reign might be cut short. One part of the prophecy reads, King of the Isles driven out by force, replaced by one who will have no mark of a king. This mysterious line has led to many theories about what might happen next. Some people think it means King Charles could be forced to step down because of his health. Others believe it might hint at a more dramatic removal from power. With rumors that King Charles III might abdicate, many are curious who the next in line would be. The most evident candidate is Prince William, as he is the first in line to the British throne. William, the Prince of Wales, has been preparing for this role for many years. His dedication to royal duties and his increasing involvement in significant matters show he is ready to step up if needed. Close friends and sources have mentioned his growing interest in gaining leadership and his desire to make a meaningful impact, indicating he could be ready to assume the role of king sooner than expected. However, this line of succession has been complicated by another prophecy from Nostradamus. The prophecy suggests that the new ruler will have no mark of a king, which has led to speculation that someone unconventional might take the throne. This has brought Prince Harry into the conversation. Despite stepping back from royal duties and moving to the United States, Prince Harry's return to the UK during his father's health crisis has fueled these speculations. His departure from traditional royal norms and his strained relationship with the family increase the mystery of the prophecy. Prince Harry's decision and lifestyle, which do not align with conventional royal expectations, and his controversies make him an unlikely but possible candidate. Even though it is difficult for many to imagine him becoming a king, this prophecy has given rise to several hypotheses. Some believe that it may signal a significant change in the order of succession in the royal family, possibly due to unexpected circumstances or a crisis within the monarchy. Critics argue that his writings are too generalized to be considered as predictions. For example, the prophecy about the King of the Isles could be any king, and not necessarily King Charles III. This confusion has led to various interpretations, with some historians and theologians suggesting different outcomes. According to some theologians, he could have suggested a wider shift in the political system of the UK. The phrase, someone with no mark of a king, could imply a shift away from the monarchy altogether, suggesting a move towards a more democratic form of government. This interpretation, while radical, shows the ongoing discussions about the future of the British monarchy and its relevance in the modern period. The complicated relationship between China and Taiwan the Red Adversary. Lastly, Nostradamus speaks of a Red Adversary waging war, leading to combat and naval battles. This cryptic reference could be interpreted in various geopolitical contexts, suggesting potential conflicts on the horizon. The End Times In recent years, our world has been experiencing extreme weather events like never before. From record-breaking tornadoes ripping through towns to ice chunks falling off Antarctica due to rising temperatures, it seems like Mother Nature is showing no mercy. But what does Nostradamus, the famous 16th century French seer, predict about these end times and our current weather patterns? 
According to Nostradamus, 2024 will bring a big earthquake. Cataclysmic natural disasters. Nostradamus foretells a catastrophic earthquake off the coast of Japan, leading to a devastating tsunami. While similar events have occurred in the past, such as the 2011 disaster, the prediction serves as a stark reminder of the Earth's unpredictable nature and the potential for future calamities. There are also big volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions of historic proportions. Nostradamus warns of a volcanic eruption, potentially the worst, since the eruptions of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD or 1631 AD. Such an event would have profound global implications from environmental impact to economic and social disruption. One thing is clear, we need to take action to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect our planet for future generations. From reducing our carbon footprint to investing in renewable energy sources, there are steps we can take to make a difference. As we face the challenges of our current weather and the uncertainties of the future, let us remember the words of Nostradamus and strive to create a more sustainable and resilient world for all. The time to act is now. While Nostradamus's prophecies may seem bleak, it is essential to remember that the future is not set in stone. By taking action now to reduce our carbon footprint, mitigate climate change, and protect the environment, we can work towards creating a more sustainable future. Small changes, such as reducing our use of plastic, carpooling, and supporting renewable energy sources, can have a significant impact in the long run. Nostradamus's prophecies about the end times and our current weather patterns serve as a stark reminder of the importance of taking care of our planet. While the future may seem uncertain, we have the power to make a difference through our actions. By coming together to address the challenges of climate change, we can strive towards a better, more resilient future for generations to come. Who is this man? Nostradamus, born Michel de Nostradam in 1503, is one of history's most intriguing and enigmatic figures. This French astrologer, physician, and seer is best known for his book Les Prophéties, a collection of 942 poetic quatrains that purportedly predict future events. Nostradamus's prophecies have fascinated scholars, skeptics, and enthusiasts for centuries, sparking endless debates about their accuracy and meaning. Curiosity led him to various areas, which he often explored independently. He was not a medical doctor, but he was a physician who devoted himself wholeheartedly to saving plague victims. Their terrifying and moving image he portrayed on one page of an anthology. He was sometimes the victim of ostracism, the subject of calumny and attacks from representatives of the institutions of his time and other adversaries who spared no words of contempt. But he knew how to defend himself, respond to blows, and always showed independence of mind. He is the prophetic voice echoing in the four-line quatrains of prophecies inscribed in the collective future and memory of the world, always open to new interpretations. He wanted to be a syncretic man, decrypting the past, present, and future in cosmological visions, facing the divine word. Due to his background, education, and readings, he was a man in whom the worlds of Platonism, occultism, Judaism, Christianity, the world of Arab thinkers and alchemists converged. Perhaps he regarded the ancient sacred disease, epilepsy, from which he allegedly suffered as a blessing. For Nostradamus's contemporaries, he was an interpreter of stars and miraculous events. They mainly valued him for his annual predictions and almanacs, and for personal horoscopes, to a lesser extent for his timeless verses and centuries. Nostradamus wrote his prophecies in a cryptic, symbolic language, blending French, Latin, Greek, and Provençal, a choice that has led to diverse interpretations. His quatrains are notoriously ambiguous, filled with metaphors and allegories, making it challenging to pin down exact predictions. Despite this, many believe that his work foretells significant historical events, from the rise of Napoleon and Hitler to the Great Fire of London and even the darkness of America. During his lifetime, Nostradamus enjoyed assuming various roles and identities. 
At times, he presented himself as an ancient seer, Vates, Calchas, Apollo, Sphinx, at other times as a prophet and philosopher. In the epitaph he composed for himself, he presents himself as the new Titus Livius of the future. Using a motto borrowed from Consolation of Philosophy, he presents himself as a new Boethius, closely associated with Neoplatonism. He wanted to be a humanist, an expression of the human condition. In his youth, Nostradamus set out, as he liked to claim, in search of the properties of plants and metals. His travels fit into the Hippocratic tradition of wandering physicians and the initiatory journeys of alchemists. They resemble the travels of Paracelsus, who, like Nostradamus, was interested in magic, medicine, alchemy, astrology, and the art of divination. Later, from his observatory in Salon, he interpreted the world through the stars, from works inherited from antiquity or from secret knowledge for the initiated. So, Nostradamus remains a historical enigma. His cryptic quatrains and the enduring interest in his predictions highlight a blend of historical curiosity and the timeless human desire to glimpse the future. Whether seen as a true prophet or a master of ambiguous language, Nostradamus's legacy endures, continuing to spark debate and intrigue centuries after his death. Chronicles of Anticipation The Centuries is a collection of prophecies comprising 12 series of 100 quatrains or verses of four lines each. However, the total number of prophecies needs to be added up to the expected 1,200s, using a simple calculation. The 7th century, for instance, only has 46 verses, each written independently in six lines. Before the creation of the centuries, a series of authenticated predictions was also referred to in the text. It is said that these predictions were written in an obscure language to ensure that they could not be misinterpreted or used by people who lacked the necessary knowledge or understanding. The centuries is a meticulous account of future events foreseen by the French prophet, it accurately depicts wars, betrayals, historical and political changes, marriages, births, deaths, and alliances. The author, a wise man highly esteemed as an intellectual and a prophet, had his work fully appreciated, understood, and recognized only in the 20th century. It stands as an authentic chronicle of anticipation, written to provide insight into future centuries for generations to come a testament to the prophetic prowess of Nostradamus. Napoleon. On December 2, 1805, an event took place in the Czech town of Slavkov that turned the tide of European history. A contingent of 68,000 fighters followed a short man whom no one would have noticed a few years before. This man was none other than Napoleon Bonaparte, who was known for his almost irrational self-confidence. The soldiers waited with nearly religious fervor for the orders of the little man, while 90,000 Austrian and Russian soldiers, well-equipped and seated privileged on the Pratzen Plateau, awaited the attack of Napoleon's army. Despite being disadvantaged on the battlefield, Napoleon's army, guided by an unseen force, charged against its enemies and dealt a fatal blow to the heart of the well-disciplined Austro-Russian coalition. The Battle of Austerlitz was a turning point in European history, marking a decisive victory for Napoleon and leaving Europe at the mercy of the man who had made European monarchies tremble, creating and dismantling kingdoms and republics at his will. The aftermath of the battle was brutal, with 25,000 bodies of Austrians and Russians left on the field as mute witnesses of the event. The victory consolidated Napoleon's power and marked the beginning of his reign as Emperor of the French. The famous prophet Nostradamus had predicted the French Revolution, Napoleon's rise to power, and his defeat at Waterloo. He had evoked it repeatedly throughout his 24 prophecies. The Sixth Prophecy, Centuria, her, accurately painted the birth and end of Napoleon in four lines. An emperor will be born near Italy, that he will be sold very dearly to the empire. They will say with what people he allies himself. 
that he will seem to them less a prince than a butcher. Napoleon was intrigued by these texts, as he believed he saw features of his life in them and even consulted experts on the subject. According to some interpreters of Nostradamus, the centuries that speak of Corsican are part of a group dedicated to three characters related to the Antichrist and his role as tyrant monarch. The first figure would correspond to Napoleon, the second to Hitler, the protagonist of the last attempt to unify Europe by force, and the third would be to come and would be the definitive Antichrist, who would take advantage of a confederation identified by many with the European Union to become a world tyrant. Wakeful Nights In 1554, Nostradamus announced that he would dedicate all his time and effort to writing a work to gather and synthesize the possibilities of the future of the human race. Nostradamus had a unique gift of prophesying the future, and he claimed that his visions of the centuries to come opened before his eyes during his nights of contemplation. He believed his visions became apparent in his mind and soul, so he penned them down in a book. The first volume of his work, Las Centurias, was published in 1555 and created a stir. One of the verses alluded to monarch Henry II and anticipated the circumstances of his death and subsequent bloody succession. Four years later, the events were precisely fulfilled and Nostradamus gained widespread fame. Years earlier, Nostradamus had suffered a significant personal loss when he lost his first wife and children. He then traveled through France, Italy, and Germany. During this journey, he had a chance to encounter three mendicant Franciscan monks. These monks were clad in rags but were fiercely proud of their faith and adherence to the poverty of Christ. Nostradamus surprised them by dismounting and kneeling before one of them and then humbly bowing his head. The surprised monks urged him to get up, but the prophet refused, saying, I must bow and bend my knee in front of his holiness. The object of his attention was Brother Felici Peretti, who had led a miserable life as a swineherd before embracing the monastic life. The Franciscans left, but forty years later, in 1585, Felice Peretti ascended the throne of St. Peter under the name Pius V, becoming the Pope. On the day of his coronation as the Apostle of Christianity, Pius V remembered the unknown traveler who had predicted his brilliant future 40 years ago. It was then that Nostradamus scholars had already understood that the prophet and visionary was the only person in his time capable of identifying an exceptional being, even though he had not yet had the opportunity to demonstrate his immense moral values. Pius V's papacy lasted only five years, but he accomplished a monumental task while remaining faithful to Franciscan rectitude. However, Nostradamus had died for many years when Pius V ascended the throne, leaving a legacy of prophetic visions and insights into the future. Chaos and Hope Nostradamus's prophecies have been fascinating for centuries. The meticulous fulfillment of his predictions throughout history, as well as the analyses conducted by prominent scholars, unveil the essence of Nostradamus's philosophy that the atrocities and calamities of history stem not from divine predestination, but from humanity's insatiable greed for power and wealth. His prophetic work takes on a profound contemporary relevance, particularly concerning recent monumental events. One striking instance is found in century number eight, where Nostradamus appears to foretell the Bolshevik revolution and the subsequent imposition of communism Nostradamus's visions extended into the latter half of the 20th century with eerie accuracy. He predicted events like the Six-Day War, the Iranian Revolution, and the dissolution of the Soviet Union, along with its ensuing ethnic conflicts. His prophecies painted a grim picture of human conflict and suffering, warning of the consequences of continued ignorance. In Nostradamus until the year 2025, Jean-Charles de Fontebrun observes that humanity's propensity for violence has reached unprecedented levels. He cautions against the collective apathy that allows such tragedies to unfold, suggesting that the current generation's disregard for prophetic warnings may lead to dire consequences. 
Looking ahead, Nostradamus foresees the advance of Islam into Europe, with major cities like Paris engulfed in turmoil. He also predicts the rise of a third Antichrist, symbolizing decades of global suffering and devastation. Ecological disasters, possibly exacerbated by human negligence, and the relentless spread of diseases like Ebola loom ominously in his prophecies. Nostradamus' grim visions starkly remind humanity of its capacity for self-destruction and the urgent need for collective action to avert impending catastrophe. He suggests that ignoring the warnings of true prophets may lead to irreversible consequences, with civilization teetering on the brink of collapse. In his predictions, Nostradamus saw the darkness and the light of humanity's future. While he predicted the advance of Islam in Europe, the war in Gibraltar, and the potential elimination of two-three of the human race, he also saw hope in the form of a prince from the main branch of the Bourbons, who would bring peace. Nostradamus believed that the destiny of humanity is not predetermined and can be altered as long as there is collective awareness of the problems. He emphasized the importance of taking an active and positive role in addressing these problems and admitting mistakes. Nostradamus predicted a planetary conjunction of Venus, the Sun, Jupiter, and Mercury on June 4, 2024. He believed this conjunction would increase natural development and lead to a grand alliance in France. The sponge of the same from the Mediterranean would come, and that extreme remedy would extinguish the fire. An olive tree would be planted on dry land, a synonym for peace. Despite Nostradamus's warnings, it is essential to remember that the future is not set in stone and human actions can change it. We should work towards a better future and address our society's problems actively. The Modern Nostradamus In 2024, a prediction called Living Nostradamus says that the world will be covered in darkness for three days. This prophecy is said to come from Athos, a Brazilian known as the Living Nostradamus. Athos predicts various future events and is considered a prophet himself. Many people believe in his predictions, which include the death of Queen Elizabeth, Elon Musk buying Twitter, and other significant events. The prediction suggests that the world will experience darkness for three days due to the use of new weapon technologies. Athos specifically mentioned the development of electromagnetic pulse EMP technology and conversations happening through platforms like email as factors contributing to this event. Athos also predicts that during the second half of 2024, there will be tests using these weapons amid increasing tensions between Iran and Israel. He suggests that such experiments will continue for three days, leading to darkness. Athos mentions that AL advancements might contribute to these tests in the coming years leading to discussions about the consequences of AL and the need for peace. He also foresees a time when AI will enable communication with the deceased and warns that a series of natural disasters will begin, marking the beginning of global destruction. Athos has been making predictions like this for the past year, gaining attention and sparking discussions about the future. The prophecy of three days of darkness predicted by the Brazilian prophet living Nostradamus, sheds light on potential future events and technological advancements. With mentions of significant occurrences, like the death of Queen Elizabeth and Elon Musk's actions, people are paying attention to Athos's forecasts. His warnings about the use of advanced weaponry and the consequences of AI advancements spark discussions about peace and the future of humanity. As we ponder these predictions, it's essential to consider the implications they hold and work towards a better tomorrow. Should we believe in Nostradamus? While Nostradamus's predictions may be open to interpretation, there is no denying the impact his prophecies have had on shaping our understanding of the future. Whether we believe in his foresight or dismiss it as mere coincidence, the warnings of Nostradamus serve as a sobering reminder of the fragility of our existence. The prophecies of Nostradamus continue to captivate our imaginations and fuel speculation about what lies ahead. Will we see the end times unfold in our lifetime, or is there still time to change our fate? 
Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The legacy of Nostradamus's words will endure for generations to come. As we reflect on the turmoil and unrest in the world today, one cannot help but wonder if these are the signs of the end times. The ongoing conflicts in the Middle East seem to mirror the grim predictions of a biblical war, stirring fear and uncertainty in the hearts of many. The tensions with global superpowers like China and Russia raise the specter of a catastrophic war that could potentially plunge the world into chaos. The looming threat of a celestial rock hurtling toward Earth serves as a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the face of cosmic forces. While it is natural to feel apprehensive in these turbulent times, it is crucial to remain vigilant and united in our efforts to navigate through these challenges and strive for a more peaceful and harmonious future. Are we truly living in the end times? Only time will tell if Nostradamus's prophecies are coming to pass. Let us ponder the possibilities and prepare for whatever the future may hold. As we ponder these prophecies, it's important to approach them with a blend of curiosity and skepticism. Nostradamus's predictions are often vague and open to interpretation, and while they may seem to align with current events, their true meaning is always shrouded in mystery. Nevertheless, they provide a fascinating lens through which to view the potential challenges and changes of this year.